is Nisala. Welcome back. So you clicked on this video because you want to know about finding the perfect app for Second Brain and the personal knowledge management system. Here I am comparing all the options for you. Notion, Remnote, Rome, and Obsidian. Hello, welcome back. I am a psychology and dental student who is currently in Shanghai. And yes, you are in the right place because Tiago Forte, who coined the term second brain, have come up with criteria and deal breakers to find the perfect soulmate for your second brain app. So here we dive into it. First one for the deal breaker category is the quick capturing function. The purpose of developing the second brain habit is based on the fact that our brain is not for storing information but made for big unknown potential cognitive capacities. Obviously, don't be capturing information because of FOMO. That's just gonna make your second brain pile of trash in the backyard. Trash bag? Who said anything about trash bag? So our first candidate is Notion. Notion has a very good developed phone app and you can create a designated inbox for your thoughts and ideas to be inserted directly on the flip when they go. And the next candidate is Remnote. It is not very useful for iPhones. You can only access this app in the web browser version. They don't have a designated phone app, but if I really want to capture thoughts on Remnote, I can do it in the web browser. There is an auto-generated top-level RAM called Thought Q, and there will be stick. The next app is Obsidian. Obsidian is actually a markdown editor instead of a web-based note-taking app. Or we can just sit here boringly and wait for Obsidian to develop a really good phone app, but I don't think that is a smart thing to do. And for Rome, it's the same situation as Remnote because this is the web-based note-taking app. They're kind of in the Flintstone caveman age. For Remnote and Rome, the alternative for quick capture inbox is Drafts or Apple Notes. It acts as a stub for your thoughts to stay there temporarily. In conclusion, the app that wins the quick capture criteria date mate is Notion. <laughs> because Notion has the most developed phone app. Moving on to the next criteria on the deal breaker list. No keyword research here. How can I find what book I'm looking for? Type a quick keyword search. I can jump to that note instantly. But let's start with Notion again. It is a bit of a Flintstone era again because you can only search at page title level instead of searching bullet points. So to bring up the search function in Notion, press Command P. Next, in Remnote, here I'm gonna bring this candidate to you. The search function in Remnote is very advanced, but it lags a little bit. I don't know why. The server is just a bummer when I switch between computers. So first. Command P like Notion, we can search document titles. And then the next function is Command F. F stands for filter in this case. I can filter the document based on the tags, titles, and keywords just within this document. The third one is what stands out for RevNote. It is called hierarchical search. RevNote allows you to navigate through your document hierarchy and search for the exact piece of information you want by pressing tabs and shift tab when you For more information about linking in RevNote, you click on the video in the corner. <laughs> Ta da! You can find any information with this organized structure you have created for yourself. Stay on the journey with us. And the next is Rome Research. It is very similar to Remnote. You also have search function by pressing Command U. Uh, if you want to narrow your search in those links, I will use the filter function when you search within a page of linked keywords. And then the next function is query. It can be very dynamic with what you want. So Rome's query uses this Boolean search logic. The AND function means that all criteria must be met and it will be inclusive. OR condition means that one or the other will be inclusive. This query works on any document instead of filtering tags under one page's link. So in Obsidian, it's like the stepsister of those two apps. So in the search option of Obsidian, we have four options path for finding the exact file where it is located, search for the file name, search for tags, and then for using parentheses to search for inline text to the bullet level. And the fifth one is searching for headings after you have formatted your notes. In conclusion, for the search criteria, Remnote, Obsidian, and Rome Research all win this battle, so KO Notion. Well, depends on what type of functions are you exactly looking for. So let's move on to the other criteria. The ability of an app to handle attachments and files. And the answer is yes to all of them. They are very, very multimedia in this fancy technological era. And let's go through all their pros and cons. And let's start with the good old notion again. I can embed websites, Twitter posts, 
images, PDF files, Google Maps, YouTube videos, the list goes on. And Notion also works with Google Drive. I can also sync PDFs and screenshots from my Google Drive. With WebNote, what stands out with uploading PDFs and files is that you can annotate directly and copy and paste your highlights into your database. I really really like to use this for studying because I can reference my source but it only exists in the pro version for $6 again, haha, <laughs> you gotta pay for your services. But there are currently no integrations with Google Maps or Google Drive files into their website. Let's move on to Obsidian. This is how Obsidian embeds file in your database. It uses an iframe. Iframe means that it's the coding aspect of how bloggers integrate files into their website. So for each type of file that it supports, Markdown, JPEG, GIF, PDF, MP4, those files can all be embedded with, by typing iframe and da 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 syntax. That oh, if you understand coding, Obsidian might be your love. On to Roam Research. Roam Research works really similar to Remnode. You can also embed videos and like Notion and Remnode, you can watch the video directly in the database and take notes right there. But the PDF annotator is not as developed like Remnode. Well, I can also embed interactive Google Maps, but the process is a little bit complicated. I have included a link in below that explains this whole process. So for all the tutorials and things that I skimmed through in this video, I'll find them in the description box. So for, in conclusion, for embedding files and attachments in your second brain, Notion wins for this. Let's move on to this. I lost track of which one we're on, on to now. Ah, fourth. Fourth feature is formatting your text. Because when we take notes, we want to bold, highlight, and make titles of text to make things stand out in when we return back to our note taking. We know what resonates with our thoughts. So when you type the forward slash button in Notion, RedNote, or Roam, you bring up all the functions that exist in this app. But Obsidian's kind of geek here, you can't type the forward slash button because it is, don't forget that it is a markdown editor and a second brain database is called a vault instead of a knowledge database. In Notion, there are many options. You can bold, italicize, strike through, make math equations with the latex function, insert code blocks, callouts to make the text more significant on the page, multicolor highlights and backgrounds in titles in three sizes. And move on to Remnote. It is very similar in Remnote. There are also many highlighting colors and three heading sizes and the latex math equation thing if you want to take notes for math on the computer insert code and quote block for our own research the only downside is that there's only one highlight color that is yellow also three title sizes insert code block and lastly let's move on to obsidian's feature in obsidian it is very hard to format text if you don't know the shortcuts it is very different from the other three apps so if i wanted to switch from those three apps to obsidian i would have to relearn everything again for example there's only one that I found online. Two equal signs on both sides makes the text highlighted. The syntax is very different. If you want more information, look into the Obsidian's help website that I will link below. So in conclusion, which one wins for this formatting text feature? None of them wins because they all serve the basic function. And next, move on to sharing in private spaces. This dating feature is very important because not all of our thoughts can be viewed in the public. And for the other case, if we want feedback, draft our work, and we want to share our notes if we're collaborating in note We want the sharing function. So first, Notion is very powerful in this because many YouTubers publish Notion templates and you can particularly make a Notion page as a template without people accessing other parts of your database. But users cannot edit it. People have to have a Notion account. Regardless of that, Notion is perfect for collaborative work because people can join the same workspace. And indeed, a lot of YouTubers use Notion as their main idea factory for YouTube scripting and blog posts. Next, move on to Remnote. I'm amazed by Remnote's publishing function. Click on the three dots in the corner of the note. And when you click on share note, it generates a link for you to copy and paste to your friends and the flashcard is also included in this remote. And when exam season comes around, just try to share those links and practice those flashcards instead of making your own. You see, that is where group note taking comes in. Next to Roam Research, this function is kind of immature because you can only publish the whole database instead of just publishing one page of notes like in Remnote or Notion as a template. And in Obsidian, if you want to publish your whole database as a public second brain, you'll have to pay a little subscription fee for Obsidian to host your public database graph. In conclusion, uh, I would say that Remnote and Notion wins in the public and privacy sharing feature. I feel like I've got cheated by some of those apps because it's so hard to learn and I just like ditched them. Obsidian is one of them. I've dated, flirted, hooked up with, with most of those apps. 
make sure there's no baby carrot stuck in between my teeth because I just finished dinner. And let's continue to the must-have criteria and features of having a mono amorous relationships works for a PKM system. To the next point, linking ideas. This feature is very important because this is where synthesis happens and I can make Socratic seminars in between my notes. So how do you create a link in those apps? It's by pressing double bracket. It works the same for all four of those apps. For Notion, linking pages is not its main function. Notion developer only developed this function to the page level. But for Remnote, Obsidian, and Rome Research, references and bidirectional linking can be made to the bullet level. In conclusion, bye bye Notion! You are out of the game for dating in this criteria. Have you filtered out some of those apps that you wanted or not? Let's move on to the next must have criteria in our dating progress. The fancy, fancy capture information. I feel like it's a little bit too fancy when you watch those Gucci Prada uh, fashion shows. They just pile a bunch of scarves and a lot of colors on their body and somehow it looks nice together. It's as fancy as that. I think this is not necessary. It's just some companies trying to earn our money, but we should talk about it because those features exist. The thing I'm talking about here is Readwise. It is a highlighter organization integration tool but readwise comes with a subscription but if you have a student email and you email to them and say that hello hello i am a student they will give you a half price discount it works with many chrome extensions and apps on the phone such as instapaper for offline reading or air highlighting podcasts and kindle when you connect all your apps and highlights to readwise your highlights will be organized there and it resurfaces your information but if I want to make more use out of those highlights, I should export them to my note-taking system. So this is where the four noting apps come in play. Let's first talk about Notion. So does Notion integrate with Readwise? The answer is yes. It is one of the earliest adopters. I can even customize my export format and metadata in Notion. And the next one is Remnote. Readwise currently does not integrate with Remnote. So I use Draft as the inbox integration center. You have to manually go into Draft and copy and paste those things into a separate page. Remnote developers have communicated with Air, the podcast highlighting app. So that is the only app that exists automatic syncing for highlights. Role research is also very mature, like Notion. I can highlight things over Insta Paper, Kindle, and um, Air, and it syncs with Readwise, and Readwise automatically chugs it all into my Rome Research database. With Obsidian, it also has a web clipper, but it doesn't integrate with Readwise. In conclusion, the apps that went for this for capturing many types of information from books, highlights, podcasts, blog posts would be Notion and Rome Research because those works with Readwise. But let's move on to the next criteria. I have a native app to be or a website to be. Only the app that will answer no is Obsidian because Obsidian is a markdown editor. And with just all those plain markdowns in your Dropbox or iCloud, you can't really use the functions of bidirectional linking and um, search function that requires the markdown editor. In conclusion, the three winners for those apps are World Notion, Remnote, and Rome Research. So bye bye Obsidian for this criteria. And then the next criteria for the must have is export as markdown. So your question might be, what are markdowns? Markdown files are pretty much just plain text that can be read by any computer. So let's discuss why this feature is very important. Even if those applications close off, you can get your data back. So if those apps have the ability to export text as markdown files, my data will be mine. So currently, all four apps support this function. Notion, Obsidian, Roam Research, and Remnote allows you to back up your data. Obsidian is a market editor, so your data is your data, and your second brain is forever yours. That's how they marketed their app. Roam Research is a web-based tool. And finally, they have included the tool of exporting backups as markdown features in the zip file. In Remnote, you can also choose daily backup feature notions and they guarantee that you won't lose your data, but who knows, it's with this markdown, when new apps appear, you can transfer your data from note taking app to another using API. Pretty much just means that the language of how apps communicate with each other and import and export information between apps. So if I choose one app, I'm not locked in there forever.
So finally, we're on to the last category of criteria that is the nice to have. The necessities of those apps that makes this app a handsome, beautiful candidate for us. The first one is side-by-side -side viewing. The answer is yes for all of those functions except Notion. In RomNote, Obsidian, and Rome Research, you can have multiple panels of notes and view different documents at the same time. Obsidian and RomNote can have four panels maximum or even more depending on how many you want. Rome Research have two, which is the sidebar and its main note panel. If I open more than two notes on the sidebar, I can scroll through the notes by showing the notes content or the links of the notes. We want this side-by-side -side viewing feature because life is all about that multitasking ninja, right? So in conclusion, how do I use all four of those apps? Rome Research, I use it for personal note-taking and journaling. And for RemNote, I primarily use it for dental school and psychology note-taking and plus study because I love space repetition and flashcard generating function. But as a second brain, I don't really use the flashcard and space repetition function because I find that flipping through flashcard is kind of a monotonous activity. And I would like to keep that with school only to have some separation of work and, you know, interest. And Obsidian, I don't use it much, but I research it into for making videos since I'm not a coding guru. At the end of the day, with this dating journey, you want to find the app that suits you the best as a second brain. Only long-term relationships will bring us fruitful happiness. Be intentional with our attention and take actionable steps instead of just fuzzing around with choosing the perfect app for your second brain. Because it's not about perfect second brain app, it's about how you utilize most information. Be mindful and remember that happiness is a choice. Good luck in whatever you're doing. And if you're a note-taking nerd like me, check out some of the other videos on Evergreen Note-Taking. Bye-bye and I'll see you guys next time.